Hello Tech Quantum viewers. Uh, sorry, I have not been uploading videos for a long time because um, I was involved in a project. And then I have been enjoying my holidays with one of my good friends, uh, Rajat over here in Melbourne. And we are occupying his kid's room as well. <laughs> so um, this video, we just wanted to make it uh, very casual because my friend Rajat is from FinOff background. I don't know anything about FinOff background. I've just heard about it. And I'm pretty sure many of you who watch Tech Quantum might have heard FinOps, but uh, want to know more about uh, FinOps and what does it offer, right? So uh, not taking much time, let me introduce to uh, Rachid Gug over here. And he hey has an extensive background, uh, technical as well as functional background in, in FinOps. So um, Rachid, over to you. Why don't you explain and give us an overview of FinOps? What does it offer and uh, uh, why should a customer look, look for uh, uh, to implement FinOps as well? Sure, thanks for having me in Tech Quantum Parish. Hello viewers. Uh, my name is Rachit and I've been working in Dynamics 365 finance and operations space for last 15 years. Uh, this product was previously known as Microsoft Dynamics Exepta. So this, this ERP product has been in market for over 20 years now. And Parish, uh, to answer your question, what is Dynamics 365 FinOps? Uh, it is a valid question because the way Microsoft has brought all the Dynamics 365 apps on a common platform, mm -hmm. there are business scenarios coming up where apps need to talk to each other mm -hmm. and we can't live in silos anymore. So, so in this video, I will try to answer uh, what is FinOps on a high level. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, I will categorize my answer in three different buckets because okay. When you look at this product, there are many different uh, offerings, capabilities, uh, possibilities. So we need to uh, understand what it offers. Uh, in a nutshell, it's a, a SaaS based ERP offering from Microsoft, which is multi language, multi currency and multiple time zones. So we can have uh, big enterprises where operations are running 24 by seven in different time zones all being catered by one application that is also a possibility mm -hmm. so if i have to categorize the offerings from a business lens it caters to many different industries for example retail uh, supply chain and distribution manufacturing um, and professional services organizations to name a few parish so uh, in in retail uh, it has uh, it is a multi-facet application mm -hmm. it can serve front office as well as back office role okay. So you can configure your retail promotions, pricing, uh, assortments through back office. And at the same time, you can configure your point of sale and your commerce channels mm -hmm. all on top of Dynamics 365 platform. Okay. Uh, when it comes to other industries, there are uh, business processes which gets enabled, for example, order to cash, uh, procure to pay. Mm -hmm. So we have various modules uh, like procurement and sourcing, supply, uh, sales and marketing, um, we have fixed asset, we have engineering change management, uh, time and attendance, mm -hmm. uh, payroll processing, human resources and project services uh, or um, project services accounting uh, to name a few. Yeah, so it lo it's like, look, lo looks like that it's a very comprehensive ERP system yeah. that a big um, company who wants to implement their financial system would uh, yeah. look forward to. Right. Yeah, please go ahead, uh, Richard. Sure. Uh, so now the second bucket is the platform and that is more intuitive and it is very compelling and it makes the product uh, modern and intelligent. Okay. And this is where Dynamics 365, FinOps or you say finance and operation takes edge over other competitors in the market in ERP segment. Mm -hmm. Now the platform is uh, highly personalizable, which means users can not only change their background color or the font size but they can also change the way they want to see a form on the system and they do not need a developer for that right no right so on a high level yes for simple uh, you know form changes you don't need a developer so if you want to do a customization yeah. which has to be rolled out for every user of you course. can get it customized yeah. right but if i am a accounts payable clerk and i want to have my own personalized view to look at orders coming from a particular vendor mm -hmm. and i i want to hide 10 fields which are not relevant to maybe that vendor I can create my own custom view, personalize it, save it, mm -hmm. and reuse it whenever I want. So is it safe to say that it's highly configurable? 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's right. highly configurable, highly personalizable. Mm -hmm. Users can embed Power Apps within finance and operation oh, wow. pages, yeah. right? So, okay. so they don't, uh, again, they don't need a developer to mm -hmm. necessarily embed a Power App. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, if you want to embed a Power App by default for every user, then the preferred way is to go with an extension. Mm -hmm. Another powerful feature of the platform is task guides, okay. right? Users can author their own task guides, which means a business process step-by-step -step can be recorded mm -hmm. and then replayed and saved and can be shared by other users. So for example, if I am a warehouse worker who is dealing with customer returns, maybe once in two weeks, mm -hmm. um, and over a period of time, I have forgotten the process. Mm -hmm. But if I have recorded it, I can replay that guide as a, you know, as a guided experience and that will help me to recall how I used to do a business process. I don't need to raise a support ticket with my, uh, you know, IT team to understand how I used to do it. Oh, so so that means that, for example, if I'm an admin of a company mm -hmm. and there's a new resource joining, I have already created, you know, uh, the flow that, right. you know, click here, click there, how to create a sales process. I can easily share that, uh, particular guided process and they would be good to go. You don't need separate training from your partner or something like that's that. That's a right? possibility. Okay, yeah. that's, that's really good. Right. Uh, another feature of the platform is it is uh, having a, a very tight integration with Office tools. So mm -hmm. users can export data to Excel on a click of a button. You can wow. download a file. So if you are on a screen with customer transactions from last one year mm -hmm. and you want to play around with that in Excel, mm -hmm. uh, on a click of a button, you can download that. Like export my customer data over here. Okay, right. all right. Yeah. Uh, another powerful platform feature is mobile apps, which is coming out of the box. So Microsoft provides a couple of mobile apps on finance and operations. Mm -hmm. And again, using the mobile app UI, mm -hmm. you can configure a simple mobile app. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have to build complex business rules, then it, again, it's advisable to talk to your partner and get architects involved. Mm -hmm. But as an end user, if you want to have a mobile app which gives you a filtered data which you want to view, you can use this platform. So that means if I'm working on the field, I can um, service my customer from anywhere, from any device. That's what you right. mean, right? Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Correct. And the third bucket of my response is the surrounding ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Now, when I say surrounding ecosystem, uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 is like a family. Mm -hmm. It's a family of apps, products, platforms, and capabilities. Mm -hmm. And what surrounds finance and operation are powerful platforms like Power Platform, mm -hmm. uh, the Microsoft Artificial Intelligence, right? The big data. All these platforms of Microsoft can be accessed and you know uh, through FinOps. So there are out of the box frameworks using which you can. Uh, integrate your FNO app and integrate your data and your business processes okay. outside FNO and you can bring that complexity outside of finance and operations. And you're talking about all the uh, all the features that are available in Power Platform, that is Power BI, Power Automate, uh, your AI things which are coming up. Yeah. So those are all seamless integration. They right? are seamlessly integrated and uh, there are new and things like for example your uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 guides, mm -hmm. which gives you a, a capability to uh, integrate with tools like HoloLens, mm -hmm. right? Oh, Remote wow. Assist. Right? Really? All these are in the surrounding ecosystem. And what I want to highlight is that finance and operation is very much compelling when it comes to the platform mm -hmm. and the surrounding ecosystem. Okay. Business processes are there, they're very highly matured and Microsoft is listening to customers, adding more features and adding more you know, modules. Uh, recently, Microsoft released engineering change management module. So it is growing from all the sides and um, yeah, it's a, it's a very uh, big, uh, big product, but it, it adds a lot of value. Right. Yeah. Well, um, that was quite insightful, uh, Rachid. Um, I got a good overview uh, of what FinOps is, at least on the high level, and I hope you uh, did too. So um, going forward, uh, what we have decided is uh, that we will collaborate more and we'll try to bring up many scenarios, like how does FinOps work, how does CE work, how do they how they, they can coexist and interact with each other. So uh, stay tuned, stay, stay safe and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Thank you guys.